Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm pretty excited to talk about Mid Journey's new V7. So first of all, in order to enable V7, you can just go and actually choose a V7 profile as well. So you may actually have V7 by default as well. I'm not really sure because, because I usually work with personalization. So you can rate your images and actually have a V7 profile. Now, some of the few things that they've introduced, I can actually just show you because I took a screenshot of it. So Mid Journey's new draft mode allows you to move faster. The image generation is really quick and rough ideas become visuals without slowing you down. So you can actually go ahead and keep on asking it certain things and it's going to keep on improving your visual or you can have it generate some other visuals as well. The other thing is you can even go ahead and actually use Mid Journey's draft mode with voice. So by default, if you actually have a look at it, this particular version is seven. You can go ahead and actually have it seven. You have draft mode. You can enable it as well directly from here too, if you want to. And obviously you have your basic portrait landscape and stuff along those lines. Let's just go with landscape here. Now, in order to enable, first of all, I've enabled personalization. So I would recommend you going ahead and doing that as well if you want to. And you can enable the draft mode just by going here. And then I can ask it something. You can also go ahead and play around with draft mode using your voice as well. So let's just go ahead and actually have it generate something awesome. So imagine I have something like this. I'm just going to, now as you can see, the drag and drop does not work. So if I disable the dark draft mode, I can go ahead and I can do a bunch of things that I've already talked about. So I can go ahead, use it as an image prompt. I can use it as a style reference and stuff along those lines, but that's not available in draft mode. Draft mode is just more about like, again, thinking about things and uh, just playing around with your thoughts or something along those lines. So let's just go ahead and actually use the voice mode to actually start and see how this actually performs. So I've actually given it a voice that I don't really want it to give. So let's just go ahead and do it now. Create a dark mesmerizing portal with a black, really small person standing next to it. Now, as you can see, I want to point, point out that how it quickly it has generated these things. It's not using I, it's not using any of your tokens as well. So we can actually try it out. I can show that to you as well. But even though I asked it something simple, it's actually generating some really awesome visuals here as well. So this is an important point that I want to highlight, which a lot of people are going to miss the prompt that you're saying or the prompt that you're typing doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the same prompt as you say it. It's just going to help you add all of that context and make your visual even more powerful. So even if you're not an amazing prompt agent, if you just describe your scene well, I think it usually really does a good job. So let's go ahead and continue. I want it even darker, like cerebral. Design it in the style of World of Warcraft. Is this freaking insane? Just check out how good of a job it, it's doing. And I've heard that it can actually work with different languages as well. So I speak Urdu. So let's just see if it can, if it can actually speak Urdu as well. अच्छा यार फॉरेस्ट के बजाय इसको है एक पानी में रखो पानी में या मतलब समंदर के अंदर हो और कश्ती पे एक बच्चा हो जो उसको देख रहा हो और वो इतना ही छोटा हो जितना अभी इस तस्वीर में I mean, just check this out. I, I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to send that command, but check it out, check how awesome it is. And then when you're done with a particular image, let's say I'm done with this one, I can then go ahead and obviously go ahead and actually upscale it to something creative. I can do all of the things that I previously had uh, in my actions. Oh, and this reminds me, I actually was done with the video, but I want to test one other thing out. I want to test how it actually does in comparison to chat GPT in textual generations. Convert any one of these into posters and write text about something like discovering your ultimate potential or harnessing your inner power or something along those lines. Generate a poster out of it uh, for an event. I asked you to generate a 
Now, as you can see, it generated something like a poster or something along those lines, but it's not doing a good job. So let me give it something else. I want you to write a big text on the left of the image and have like the left of the image should be empty and the right of the image should be uh, the actual attracting visual and on the left for about like 70 to 60 percent uh, height there should be big text written discover your inner self. Now as you can see it's not really doing a good job I mean it's good at positioning things like positioning the thing on the right adding the text on the left so it's good with composition but it's not really good in terms of text because as you can see discover I said discover your inner self discover inner inner self or something discover inner yol whatever it is so it can do text like chat GPT but still it's really great in terms of some of the new additional features that it has introduced. I'm pretty sure it's going to catch up to chat GPT as well but today's not that day.